Welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to the Art of Programming using Scala. Uh, we continue our talk, uh, we're in the chapter on case classes, and for this video we're actually going to talk about classes that aren't case classes. In particular we're going to talk about mutable classes. Now, just to, to make it clear, my recommendation is that you use case classes and, uh, and you work with the fact that they are immutable, there are style reasons why you want to do it. It's, it's good to get into the habit of doing it, but there might be some situations where you find that it's just much easier or in some situations much more efficient in order to use something that is actually mutable. So let's go through and we can bring up Scala. Uh, actually, let's go with our standard you know, 3D vector type of class. And I'm calling this an I 3D vector. I need to put in the word uh, class, the keyword class. So this is, we're defining a case class. And this is basically what we've seen before. And after I define that, I can now build something like that, but as we saw, I cannot change a value inside of it. And the error message tells you something about what's going on here. Turns out that putting in the case keyword makes it so that each of these arguments are vals by default. What if I wanted to make a VEC3D where I could mutate the values? I had some application where I really needed to be able to change these things frequently and I found after working with it that there was too much overhead to making them immutable and creating new versions using copy where I changed the values. Well, I can do that by getting rid of the uh, keyword case here. So it's just a class, giving the name of the class, and then for each of the arguments, I now, if I want to be able to use them, I need to precede them either with val or var. By the way, we're going to, to see uh, how we write classes in a much more general way in Scala uh, in a later chapter uh, when we actually really talk about object orientation. But for now, I just want them to be a grouping of data and consider the possibility that I want to be able to change these things. So in the case of our vector, if we want to be able to change one, we probably want to be able to change all of them. Had I made this like a particle where one field was the mass, I might actually make the mass be a val because I wouldn't necessarily need to change it. Now, how does this change things? When I make one of these, I can't just use the name of the class here. That was another thing that was given to me by putting in the case keyword. I actually have to specify new if I leave off, if it's no longer a case class and then I can give it the values that I need. The other thing that you'll note is that the case class printed out nicely for us, and this class does not. Okay, so that's, that's another challenge that, that we would have to face uh, with debugging these things. We could write a function that prints it, um, but, but it does not print nicely by default. That was another thing that was given to us by having this case keyword in here. What we've gained from this is the fact that we can do stuff like that. Okay, so uh, so now x has been changed to two, or sorry, to the six, and the y and the z values are the two and three that we had before. Okay, so this makes a mutable class. We can do assignments into there but we've lost a number of things. We, we talked about the fact we have to add new, we've lost the nice printing, turns out we've also lost the pattern matching, and we've lost a copy method. Okay, so there were a number of things that we lost in getting rid of the case, uh, part of a case class. Um, and so once again, my recommendation is that you not take this route, that you make your classes case classes for now. And when, when we get to the later chapter where we learn how to write full, uh, full-fledged classes, you can consider doing things like this. Um, but you know, I, I want to throw this out there because there are some applications 
where you might find that this is uh, makes things significantly easier for you.